Hey guys, it's Amanda and it's Friday and it's the day of my homeschool co-op and I always try to make a crock pot meal because we are super busy on co-op day. I'm running around this morning trying to get everything together for my class. I'm teaching five and six year olds and then Brianna has her sewing class and it's just a crazy busy day. So uh, I don't want to think about dinner. <laughs> I want it, dinner to be done. I want it to be something everybody's going to like. So today we're making beef and barley soup. I have all the ingredients here ready to go in the crock pot and I'm going to show you how you can make it. It's one of my family's favorites. Here we go. Okay, so don't mind my messy counter. I actually have my fruit and things back here, but I have a roast. Um, of course, we bought this when we bought our eighth of a cow. So this is one of the roasts I have left. I have some Italian seasoning, a can of diced tomatoes. These are frozen sliced uh, peppers. I have different kinds of peppers. So I put peppers in. It's not common in a beef and barley soup, but we like them in there. There's some barley, you guys. I got this at my discount grocery store. I keep it stored in my mason jar. There's that. I'm gonna use some, this is sliced celery, pre-sliced and cut. So this is what makes my morning easy. It's already sliced, cut, ready to go. I'm gonna put that in there. Um, this is some leftover onion from last night and I'm gonna slice that up and put it in. This right here is a bag of already made broth and I just freeze it in little ice cubes, put it in a bag and it's convenient. So I'm gonna throw some of that in there. I'm gonna use one large carrot and two potatoes that I'm gonna dice really small. So let me go ahead and get all of these put in and then we will be ready to go. Okay, so you'll notice that this roast is frozen. That's okay, I'm gonna put it in frozen. I'm just gonna go ahead and take some scissors, cut the top off, run this under hot water so I can separate it from the plastic and then it's gonna go straight in the crock pot. Okay, now I'm gonna take this uh, can of tomatoes, I'm gonna open it and it's gonna go in there. Everything that's in it is just gonna go straight in that crock pot. All right, I'm gonna pour this right on top. Okay, now I'm gonna take my pearl barley and I'm gonna use a two thirds cup measure and put this in the crock pot as well. All right, throw the barley on top. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw my broth cubes in before I start slicing up vegetables. And uh, 18 ice cubes is equal to about a cup. So I'm gonna put about a half cup's worth in. And I'm really, really could just do water if you didn't have any broth, but I add it for a little flavor. So I'm gonna put about nine ice cubes in. And here we go with the ice cubes. One, two, well, broth cubes. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. So of this frozen celery, I'm gonna put in a good handful, which is probably about all that's left in this bag. Um, if you're cutting up fresh celery, you want to use one celery stalk, dice it up really small, and put it in there. I'm just going to dump this in. Perfect. With the peppers, it's about the same thing. I'm going to take a good handful. It's the equivalent of half a pepper. Now, one thing I do want to say about this is I cut these in strips. I'm actually going to go ahead and take my knife and chop these down into smaller bits, even though they're frozen, and then put it in. Here we go, going in. All right, now an onion. Of course, um, I use, you wanna use a whole onion, but I used a couple of slices of this onion last night um, for my husband to put it on a sandwich. So um, this is practically a whole onion. I'm just gonna slice it up and put it in the pot. But if you're using a brand new onion, the whole thing is just fine. Okay, so here's the onion chopped. You can see it's, it's kind of a dice. And we're gonna toss this in here as well. Next we have these two cloves of garlic. I'm gonna dice and then I'm going to peel and uh, cut really thin this carrot and then peel and dice really small these two potatoes. Here's the garlic. Here's the carrot. Okay, this is just one of the potatoes. And I'll put the other in in a second. By the way, those were good sized baking potatoes. So if you have smaller potatoes, you're gonna to wanna to use three or four depending on the size of them. So the last thing we're gonna add, well, second to last thing we're gonna add, we're gonna add a tablespoon of Italian seasoning, and then I'm gonna put enough water in just to cover everything. It actually practically filled the pot. So I'm gonna show you once the water's in. Actually, I'll show you when I put the water in, and I'll show you uh, with the Italian seasoning as well.
Okay. And by the time I stir this, it should be nice and covered. Okay. I'll incorporate everything. And I'm going to tell you right now, it already, even though it's not even cooked, it smells good. And let's just kind of get everything stirred up a bit. Make sure that roast is in here good. Okay. All right, so I'm going to put the lid on, plug it in, important step. Sometimes I forget that. And then I'm going to turn it on low. This is going to sit here for eight hours on low and it's going to smell delicious. Okay, so here is the crock pot and we are all ready to go. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and come back, go to co-op, come back, and there's a couple of more final steps and then it'll be ready to go. So it seems like a lot. I know it seems like a lot of stuff that was in there but it was a lot of leftovers and small things so as long as you're keeping your pantry stocked and you make sure you always have carrots and you always have potatoes and you always have frozen peppers and always have frozen celery um, then you're gonna have everything that you need and you can just throw it in the pot super easy so all right we'll see you in a little bit okay guys we are back from co-op I came over here and I have pulled the lid off of this beef and barley soup and guys um, let me tell you, it smells amazing. It really does. So let me show you what it looks like. And we're going to talk about the next couple of steps we need to do. Okay, here it is. It's been cooking on low for about seven hours now. It's going to need another hour or two. And you can tell it's not done because when I poke at this, it's not coming apart with ease, this big old piece of roast. So when it's ready, it'll break apart uh, very easily. So we're going to let that soak. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take about a cup of this liquid and mix it with about two tablespoons of flour. And then I'm gonna to toss it back in here and stir it up. And that's gonna make this more um, gravy-like in consistency. And, um, and then we're gonna let that cook for the next hour or so, thicken up, and then we're gonna season it and it'll be ready to be eaten. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that cup. Okay, all I'm gonna do in order to get the liquid is take my ladle and kind of come to the side and let some of that liquid come in. Uh, a little bit of the thick, chunky stuff is fine. You don't want too much of it. Uh, you really just want to take the liquid and then you're just going to take it over to your measuring cup and pour it in. Okay, so I'm just about at a cup. I don't really need any more. And I'm going to go get some flour. Like I said, I'm going to put about two tablespoons in there, stir it up, and then pour it right back in here to give it thickness. Okay, got my two tablespoons in. Ooh! Okay, be careful. I need to be careful. I filled it up a little high. But we're going to get this whisked in. Why I use my little whisk. I'll clean up that mess in just a second. All right, now we're going to take this and just pour it in here. And we're going to mix that all together. And in about an hour, this will all be ready. And the last thing we're going to do is season it and shred up that meat and it'll be ready to go lid on waiting another hour so okay it's been an hour brian's home he's putting his stuff away from work and we're checking and let me show you what it looks like in the crock pot it looks nice and creamy okay it's a little dark over in this corner but you can see that is a whole lot creamier that flour did the job oh and look that meat is just breaking up perfectly so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to take two forks and i'm going to shred this beef and it'll be ready. This is perfectly ready for soup and I'm excited to put this in a bowl and feed it to the family and I know everybody's ready to eat it too. So, okay, let's get this finished up. Okay, and here we go. This is our beef and barley soup and you can tell it's nice and thick and stew-like. Look at that. Looks like gravy. And it's really, really tasty. Our whole family loves it. So I hope you guys will give it a try and uh, Maybe you can have it this weekend, or if when the weather cools down, that you're going to thank me. You're going to thank me. All right, that's it, guys. So thank you for hanging out with us today. We're going to go ahead and eat our dinner. I also want you to go ahead and check out Abby's channel. I'm going to link you up here to my friend Abby. She made a cauliflower soup for you guys today that I think you might be interested in checking out. So go over there, tell her I sent you, and say hey. So anyway, you guys have a great weekend. We'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm really glad you came to visit us here at the Fundamental Home. Make sure if you enjoyed this video that you click the like button and also click subscribe right below me for 
more videos coming into your inbox all the time. And also, if you enjoy social media, we've got links up at the top here for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, all the other fun things. And check out thefundamentalhome.com for more information about what we're doing all the time and how we do it, because there's way more details there. And uh, here, over to the right, we have some videos that I recommend. So thanks again for coming by, and we'll see you next time. Bye!